Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Man Cave. So today is a really special video, and it's a video about Tomb Raider, about one of my favourite games of all time. A game that means a lot to me from my childhood, all those memories of being a kid and playing this game, what it meant to me in various different ways, and why it holds a special place in my heart. So the Tomb Raider suite has just been released. You can download it from the website, which I will leave in the description, uh, the Tomb Raider Suite website, or you can go to Spotify and you can stream it. And what an absolute treat it is to listen to all these tracks once again. However, they sound even better. They sound even more organic and lively. Uh, little things like little brass sections that just bring the tracks to life. And other elements as well, sort of bridges to sort of different sort of sounds within the actual landscape of these tracks. And also the amazing thing is, simple thing to mention, uh, is the fact that these tracks are no longer sort of a minute or a minute and a half long. They're actually full tracks now, uh, which is truly, truly incredible. And I just want to say a massive thank you on behalf of the Tomb Raider community and the retro gaming community to Nathan McCree for all the immense hard work and passion that he's put into this project. Uh, Nathan McCree composed the original tracks from back in the 90s. Uh, he did the original soundtrack, the original score for Tomb Raider. Uh, I just want to say he's been a massive, massive Tomb Raider fan, uh, mainly of the first three games, um, going back to 96, 97 and 98. Uh, just how important Tomb Raider was to me and why the music brought the levels and brought Lara to life. Uh, for me, I've always said the music in the first three games essentially makes up the character of Lara. It really brings her to life. Uh, it's something I've said for years and years and years. It's just something that I really believe in. Uh, that the music really does bring the sort of the sort of atmosphere and it, it just gives you that sense of dread in certain areas but at the same time it's got a lot of heart, a lot of weight and a lot of soul. I'll say this, Tomb Raider absolutely solidified me as a fan of, of classical music uh, and core design back in the day but what they accomplished was incredible. I mean back in the 90s this was a technological feat never seen 3D graphics looking so good and textures looking so great uh, and the colour as well, the colours were just beautiful uh, but like I say, going back to the music, uh, the music truly, truly made the games and made them really, really special so for me to have the opportunity of listening to these tracks once more but hearing them sounding more organic, more beautiful, more subtle, uh, it's an absolute treat to the ears. It's an absolute treat to be listening to this music uh, once more. So I've been in touch with Nathan McCree on Twitter. Uh, I've been following Nathan McCree for a couple of years now. Uh, when the Tomb Raider Suite project sort of surfaced, McCree wanted it to be a, a bit of a live show, a live orchestra. Uh, and for these tracks to be played once more, but to a live audience. Uh, I obviously rushed to book tickets. I booked my accommodation. Obviously, I was going to travel down there. Uh, but unfortunately, I got ill. So long story short, I had to miss that, unfortunately. Yeah, I was absolutely gutted beyond belief that that happened. Uh, but obviously then, a couple months after, uh, Nathan on Kickstarter started the Kickstarter project to get the Tomb Raider suite recorded professionally at Abbey Road Studios and to be performed by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, and obviously this was a massive, massive project. Uh, I think Nathan at the time um, obviously knew that this was a big, big deal uh, and there was a lot of money to be raised. Uh, but they absolutely, by a landslide, uh, annihilated the total, you know, the aim of the money that was required to fund the project. Uh, it was absolutely totaled and uh, an amazing, amazing response there from the Tomb Raider fans and the retro gaming community. Uh, everyone just obviously coming together uh, for the common cause of funding this incredible project. Uh, I was really chuffed when it was fully funded. Uh, and now we're getting to listen to the tracks. We're getting to listen to, obviously, the hard work, the passion, uh, the most likely sleepless nights that Nathan McCree has had since, obviously, getting this project together. There's been a lot of people, unfortunately, that have been very impatient uh, due to, obviously, the time that it's taken. But for me, it's a case of if you want something done right, you know, you take your time with it. You make sure it's done to the quality and to the high standards that you set yourself. Uh, and for me, you know, this is obviously not only a passion project for Nathan McCree, but it's obviously his legacy as well. Vitally important that this is done right, uh, and obviously that time is taken to ensure that quality. 
uh, is obviously the top priority. I heard the first piece on Classical FM, uh, I, I had goosebumps, at, you know, that warm sort of sensation of going back to my childhood. Incredible to hear it because it just sounded exactly what I expected, but sounded just more subtle, more organic, more beautiful uh, than ever. And that, that's the feeling that I got. Nothing was changed. Not dramatically, anyway. Uh, it, it just sounded better, more organic. So, actually, it sounded like where it would have sounded like if it had been recorded originally with a, a fully fledged orchestra. Uh, so, absolutely beautiful and uh, such a job well done there, Nathan. It's a two minute community. I'm sure absolutely everyone agrees that this was uh, incredible and uh, sounding really bloody beautiful. Uh, so I just want to say a, a big thank you to Nathan uh, for responding on Twitter, told him what the aims of the video were and obviously that I wanted to do like my part, my bit to promote obviously these tracks, to promote this music uh, and to promote the digital release. So I just want everyone who subscribed to me, if you are a fan of Tomb Raider uh, or you are interested in listening to the music, even if you don't intend on purchasing it, please go to Spotify, go listen to it. It's an incredible, incredible set of songs and compositions and it sounds absolutely beautiful and it's certainly something you can relax to even if you're not a massive fan of the original three games if you are a fan of the original three games my god go download it go to the website download the soundtrack uh, or go listen to it give it a preview on spotify and then go download it or go purchase the vinyl uh, for me i'm going to be pre-ordering the vinyl i can't wait for the release of that uh, super excited for the vinyl release uh, go support this project this is a passion project uh, it wasn't made for the intention of making money, it was made for the fans of Tomb Raider, for the original fans from back in the day and retro gamers alike. So go please support this project. So like I say, I've been speaking to Nathan McCree on Twitter. We agreed on a couple of tracks, uh, obviously to play for the fans, obviously my subscribers. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I made it as varied as possible. Uh, and to give people an idea of what to expect when they do listen to the full feature on Spotify, whether you download or obviously pre-order the vinyl. Uh, so I've agreed on playing the Tomb Raider theme, Venice and In the Blood. And In the Blood is absolutely one of my favourite tracks from the original Tomb Raider. Uh, I just want to express before I play these tracks how special this really is to me. Uh, it was so vital that this video encapsulated how I really feel about Tomb Raider as a fan uh, and just to express to Nathan how appreciative I really am of the original music from the first three games uh, so obviously again I just want to say a massive thank you uh, to Nathan McCree uh, I don't know if you do understand maybe you do how important your contribution to Tomb Raider really was people like me in their 30s uh, do look back you know 20 years ago 22 years ago and they look back fondly and they look back with such passion for this music and I just want to express as I say again as part of the Tomb Raider community how important and how vital your work was to this project uh, so like I say once again thank you so much Nathan McCree thank you for the passion, the time, the blood, sweat and the tears, the effort uh, that you've put into this project uh, I will be supporting it massively and I want my subscribers and anyone listening to go support it so again it, the link in the description will be the website for you to pre-order the vinyl CDs other things that you can buy it you can get it on lots of different mediums uh, or please go to Spotify go listen to these tracks because they're absolutely beautiful
enjoyed those tracks i know they were quite short but i hope they give you an insight into what to expect from the tomb raider suite please go to spotify now if you've got spotify stream the tomb raider suite or go to www.tombraidersuite.com you can pre-order it there's plenty of merch there's plenty to look at if you want to own it now and own the digital release you can download the digital version right now thank you to my subscribers uh, please go check it out i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it showed passion for tomb raider and the tomb raider community and like i say a massive thank you to nathan mccree uh, obviously set up this project and obviously created this beautiful art but at the same time, a massive thank you to the Tomb Raider community for anyone that has contributed to obviously this Kickstart campaign and obviously for the release of this beautiful music to be composed uh, in such a beautiful way by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, which I feel they have done a fantastic job with these pieces of music. Uh, so as a Tomb Raider fan, uh, I really couldn't be more proud of what I've heard. So uh, please check it out, guys. I'm Gareth from The Man Cave. And I'll be back again soon.